Hey everybody, my name's Chris Warren. My name is Matt Lopes. Welcome to the You Should Be Worried podcast. Chris, you ever have the um uh, those wooden back scratchers? You know what those wooden yeah. back scratchers are? You ever great. use those on any other part of your body besides your back? I probably have. I don't nothing comes to mind. You ever use you ever use the wooden back scratcher on any other part of your body that's not your back until there's blood on the wood? No. I did that last night. Where were you scratching? Under my stomach. Ew. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> there, there's, a, there's a cave under my stomach right before you get to, like, my fupa, and there's, like, a little crevice. There's, like, a crevice in there. It's like and, the Grand Canyon. Oh, yeah. You get in there, dude. and Endless deep hole. The, the stick disappears inside me to, <laughs> to go and scratch those depths. It's a fun time. It's really good. I, I, have, a, I, have, a, I have a blast. I have a blast at nighttime with that wooden back scratcher, dude. I have two of them. I, I got nothing to say. Why, dude? You're supposed to have something to say. <laughs> the grossness meter on it's this podcast—it's not podcast a gro- It's not has gross. gotten too high, and Why I can't participate. Why is it. itching a scratch that you have now all of a sudden gross? If it was, if the scratch was on my back, you would have said shit because it's a back scratcher. But because it's because it's under my stomach. Because it's, it's it's in the flap of my stomach, you have a fucking problem See, with that. Right is there, me term, being fat disgust you? Is that what that is? It's not that it disgusts me. It's that everything you then do has an <laughs> added layer of disgust. Like if I just that. said, "Oh, yeah. oh, I, I I scratch under my stomach when it gets itchy," that would have been okay. But, but because, because I'm, it's your stomach, it's be- like now it's <laughs> now it's because really it's my gross. stomach, and also because I'm getting blood on the wood. I think that's also a factor <laughs> that we're you know the blood might have been. It's my under stomach blood. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a great oh, time. Oh, this is, you know, <coughs> I was, uh, I, I almost got canceled. Why? What do you mean? last week. No, you didn't. I did. I'm being oppressed. Matt doesn't believe in cancel culture. Don't listen to him. It's not real. I got, I got oppressed. I made a great TikTok. I made a <laughs> great TikTok on uh, Mad Mike, who, for those history fans of Africa in the 60s, He's really the cool. stripper from the movie, Channing Tatum. I'm a s- scream. Uh, he was, he was a really uh, interesting mercenary. Mm-hmm. A British mercenary, Irish British mercenary, and um, the video was going dummy on TikTok. Yeah. It was, as the kids say, it was getting like a you know over a hundred thousand views in like two hours. I was like, oh, finally we get some traction. Yeah, it's been months on TikTok. Right. This is great. And uh, then like you know, I get a notification that it's been uh, taken down for community guideline for violations. community guideline violations. And what was the reason for that? Uh, they said weapons in quotes. There was weapons in the video. Um, yeah, but it was like historical footage of what he actually did. And it wasn't like people dying. It was just the soldiers that happened to be walking around with guns. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It was no violence. It was just like, you know, there's soldiers. It's historical footage. They have like a gun over the shoulder. And yeah, they're like, yeah. weapons canceled. I'm like, that seems like a kind of unnecessary use. But there was weapons like, in the video. Dude. <laughs> Matt, is, Matt is the first guy to become a Nazi when they take power. <laughs> no shot. No oh, shot. Hunter, you are the I first. I don't understand. I don't get this whole. I don't I don't I still don't understand how you don't from all the conversations we've had about whatever cancel culture is. I, I'm still surprised that you're on it like that. I'm going to scream. It's uh, simple actions have consequences type shit. If you know that posting a video with weapons in it might get taken down from TikTok and you do it anyway, if it gets taken down, whoa. You got canceled? No, no, got you canceled. didn't. No, you didn't, dude. That's the it's the fucking rules. The app can do whatever it wants. Dude, Matt is such a fucking bootlicker. It's disgusting. <laughs> Matt is the fucking worst. Matt's one of those a guys. Matt, Matt is literally. Matt is. This is who Matt is. Matt's one of those guys that would have never smoked weed when it was illegal, and then the second, <laughs> and then the second he it became illegal, he's like, oh, well, I guess I can smoke weed now. <laughs> Matt is one of those fucking. I people. was one hundred percent one uh, of those guys. I think. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Just waiting, waiting for the government and the social zeitgeist to tell you what's right and wrong. Correct. <laughs> but, dude, the, the comments in the video were great because um, I guess Mad Mike is, because uh, I obviously wasn't aware of this, uh, yeah. it was a, is a far-right hero uh, to a lot of people. Mm, okay. So, like, a lot of the comments were like, because I just tried my best to, it's still up on Instagram if you want to go watch it, uh, but the TikTok one's down. But my, my best effort to be neutral on a lot of these things of just explain what he did and what was interesting about it. I yeah. didn't like really take a stance on anything. Of course. And everyone's like, Oh, actually like what you're talking about. It's not fair. Cause he only killed communists and those aren't people. And I was like, <laughs> all right, well there, that, that's a crazy. And, take. And, and, and first of all, crazy first of take. all, shouts out to you. That's correct. <laughs> communists aren't people. No, better, <laughs> better dead than red. I always say um, they're fucking deer. You should hit with your car. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> So, 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 you know, there were a lot of those comments, and then there were some comments, <laughs> you know, then some 
people from a certain persuasion that were a little more extreme started uh, yeah. jumping in the videos talking about how much they, like, they're like, also, we left out all the cool parts about Mad Mike's ideology, which were <laughs> nuts. There's a reason I left those out because I, I don't want to talk about those. Right. Uh, all this racist stuff's getting posted. And then, of course, people, people <laughs> jump in on the other side uh -huh. that are like, I think this is all, like, you're all horrible. Why would you do this? And, um, you know, basically telling them that, like, you know, the truth, which is Mad Mike committed, like, basically a genocide, yeah, which yeah. is, you know, part of why he's interesting, but not that it's good. You know, uh -huh. that's that's kind of what I went with the video. Um, so they're like, yeah, no, I, 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 I think that's, like, you know, a fucked up takeaway from this video to, like, <laughs> think that that's definitely not what he was saying. And so then someone went on that person's account and some, like, commented on that person's, like, I've looked at your account and yeah. well, well, well. <laughs> which for those of you that haven't experienced anti-Semitism on the internet like I have, uh, well, well, well means we found out you're Jewish. That's what that means. <laughs> no way. That's what that no means. No way. Yeah, yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. So, um, so, so then there's a further well, argument. Look who's talking. And, and this only takes, because the video was only up for like three hours. So this all takes place in like three hours. I'm just watching all these comments come in. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just not co commenting back, just watching it unfold. I'm completely silent in the comment <laughs> section. And and then there's an argument between um, the Jewish people in my comments yeah. and the Nazis in my comments about what I was trying to say about Mad Mike because I left it ambiguous. I just stated the facts. They're like, he's on our side. No, he's on our side. <laughs> and I was like, guys, guys, stop. I love you both. Like, come <laughs> on, stop it. And uh, That's nuts. Yeah, so that was pretty fun. Jesus Christ. And then neither group wanted to address I was Jewish because someone comment, someone did comment like, hey, I think I've seen this guy's other videos. Like, I'm pretty sure he's Jewish, mm -hmm. which I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> I was like, uh-oh. shouldn't have said that. I was like, that's going to be a deleted comment. <laughs> We're going to delete that one. I'm going to delete that one and not the, all the <laughs> not, other ones. Not the other about, racist. About problem. killing communists and shit like that. No, those can stay And up. then there was legitimately like a four back and forth pe of people being like, the, the, the Jews didn't want to claim me because I was talking about, like, a figure they didn't want to be associated with. So, like, I don't think a Jewish person would talk about this, per give, like, platform to this historical figure. Yeah. And then the Nazis obviously didn't want to address I was Jewish because they thought I ruled. So, they're like, nah, he's cool. He would never be Jewish. All right. And I'm just sitting there like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> just like, yikes. I'm, the Kenolos dose, I'm in, in, I'm in between a rock and a hard place <laughs> right now. A rock. Well, so that was my fun uh, week of content. I know you said you're not going to, tr you're, you're trying to stray away a little bit from those history videos, but have you ever considered like taking one person and like, like, like doing four videos on that one person about like the different aspects of that person? Well, no, cause here's, here's honestly my issue with the history videos is I really enjoyed them and I did pretty much all the people I wanted to talk about. Yeah. And now the people, beca because when I went to school, right. And the things I learned about, um, tended to be like what I would call very problematic figures these days. Mm -hmm. So like Mad Mike was me dipping my toes in the people I want to talk about. That yeah. was like the first one. I was like, let's just, he's one of the more mild ones. Let's see how it goes. It video immediately taken down Nazis in the comments. Like it immediately went exactly what I was worried about. Yeah. So now that I want to go to like the more extreme ones, I'm like, well, that's, if that went bad, these ones are definitely going to go bad. The only reason is though the weapons. So if you kept the weapons no, out I, of it. I'm a big believer because I have other videos with weapons in them. Uh -huh. TikTok, you didn't hear that. Um, no, no, <laughs> no, here's honestly why I was annoyed. Because I have a ton of other videos with pictures of weapons in them because they're historical photos, yeah. and so does a lot of other content creators. And I just think it's really convenient that the one video that, like, got the far right excited, they immediately shut down. I don't think that... I 100%. I don't think they give a fuck about that shit. Yeah, they do. 100%. No. 100%. I don't think somebody's at fucking TikTok headquarters being like, yeah, it's it's oh, bad. This, is, this, is the, no. this is the opposite side of what no, we're... No, 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 no. They live in another country. No, they but don't Matt, have Matt, the Matt, It's not because have. of that. See, this is how they get you to be stupid, is they make you think they think <laughs> like us. They make you think they have ideology. They don't. They're, they're soulless CEO demon suckers. Yeah. <laughs> the reason they care is because those kinds of opinions and videos don't do well with advertisers because the advertisers are way less likely to advertise with videos like that. So, like, we can't make as much money off this platform if it's littered with this shit, so we got to clean it up because you can go far left, and that works better with advertisers. It's not that they believe it one way or the other. They just want money, and they know that right now with the current climate— uh, you know, a far right video about Mad Mike Hobart is not going to, you know, be good for Dove. 
that would make but sense. But a video on some communist is like, that's fine. Double advertise on that. That, do, that does make yeah. a little bit of sense. But uh, do you have any proof about it? I will come back next week with evidence. <laughs> Because right now I'm going to say stuff and Matt's going to be like, that's not a fact. I, don't, uh, 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 uh. I got to fact check it. I can't, I'm not going to believe it unless I can have, unless I have some fucking reason. All you to need to know it. is they deplatformed Alex Jones. That should be enough <laughs> evidence for anyone, any sensible person. Jesus And sure, Christ. does he have a documentary on HBO now? Yeah. Does that mean he's not canceled? <laughs> <laughs> is, I don't think he's, he's, he's shedding a positive light in that documentary. Listen, there's... He got a documentary. Listen, probably not a good any documentary. documentary about Alex Jones, they can say all the negative stuff they want. If, if you're an honest person, you watch that, you see he's a truth seeker. You can see past <laughs> their propaganda. And you go, that man is a truth you're seeker. You're horrible, dude. You're a horrible person. <laughs> yeah, so... um, But, like, the next figures I want to cover, like, all jokes aside, are people like... um. And, and just to be clear, I'm not supporting these people. I just think they're interesting. Like, I yeah, think yeah. most of the people in history, most figures in history were pure evil, yeah. and that's part of what makes them fascinating. Mm -hmm. And you can get away with talking about some, like, Genghis Khan, because that was far enough away in the distance that we don't, like, think about that. Yeah. But, like, if I talked about someone like Oswald Mosley, who I think is one of the most fascinating historical figures, everyone's, <laughs> everyone <laughs> on social media is going to get real mad. My video is going to get reported 100 times and taken down like this one did. Who's Oswald? Because that's also the other thing. When you post anything that remotely gives uh, uh, gives voice to that a person that the mainstream disagrees with exists, it's not even necessarily TikTok itself. People will just mass report you. Can I know for a fact like 20 people reported my video just because they didn't like that Nazis were commenting. <laughs> And what am I supposed to, I'm supposed to sit there and remove every single Nazi comment? <laughs> Mr. Mosby! It's that's Oswald. so different! It's that's, Oswald. So, that's, Oswald. that's Mr. Oswald Mosley. Um, yeah, people don't want you, you to see me, this truth. Can you, can, <laughs> no running in my lobby! <laughs> <laughs> don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Listen, do you have a 10 second rundown of who Oswald Mosley yeah, is? Yeah, I'm gonna go real quick. Um, he was a British nobleman. Okay. During like the World War II era is kind of where he so rose 1940s. to prominence. So 1940s? Yeah, 1930s Fact and 40s. It. Okay. Fact check it. And, and so he was from a noble family because back then and to a lesser extent still today, like nobility still matters in England. He was basically just a super rich guy. And he was the leader of the British fascist party mm -hmm. in the 30s before war with Germany started. And then once the war with Germany started, like most fascists and allied nations like we're like, oh, this, we didn't realize what this was. Okay, we're going to break up this now. Because okay. obviously, like, they're wrong. Yeah. Oswald Mosley was like, no, dude, we should join the German side. Like, he was the only person in Britain that was, like, <sighs> popular. Yeah. That was like, no, no, we're on the wrong side. Like, we should be on Germany's side. Like, they're doing cool stuff. Holy shit. And even to the point where even when they were doing the bombings of London, where the Nazis were bombing London every single night. Yeah. Oswald Mosley was like, this is only happening because we're on the wrong side of the war. Like, we have to switch teams. <laughs> like, even as London was being set on fire, he was like, we got to join the Germans. And so there's videos of him and then a British fascist party, like, going on marches during the war, like, to protest that they're on the wrong side of the war. Holy shit. And the, the London's Hasidic community coming out, so, like, the Jewish guys and the curls come out, and them getting in straight-up fist fights. Whoa. There's, like, it, uh, these hilarious videos of, like, Oswald Mosley, like, old-timey style, like this, squaring up with straight-up rabbis. actual videos? Yeah, like, having happening? fist fights. Holy and he just shit. And then the best part about him, the reason I want, because I just find this fascinating, right, that you're doing, that you're obviously being bombed by the people you say you love. It yeah. just, it, like, the cognitive dissonance is crazy. And also just the visual of him fighting, like, rabbis in the streets. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what's best is, like, so then in, like, the 60s or 70s, I want to say, because he was still popular, like, he made it through the war, he lived, and he still remained a prominent figure because he's, like, the Duke of something. I don't mm -hmm. remember. He's, like, a big, important nobleman. Yeah. So they have him on the news in, like, the 60s or 70s on some British talk show to try to, like, give him a out. They're like, yeah, it's been a bunch of years. He was young. He was probably dumb. And they're like, basically trying to give him, you know, redeem his family legacy because right. his family was really important. So they're like, yeah, after all this time and seeing, you know, what happened in World War II and everything, and now that it's all over and it's been like 30 years, like, don't you think it's time to say that maybe you were wrong about, you know, wanting to join the Germans in World yeah, War II? Yeah. And everyone's like waiting for him to give like an apology and just goes... No, I think we were wrong to fight him. I think if you look at the world today, <laughs> you'll realize that the wrong side won the war. And Holy everyone shit. in the studio collectively just goes like, what the fuck? <laughs> and, he, and, and he just he just holds. And that's my favorite thing. Is because obviously I don't agree with him. Yeah. But I fucking respect people when they've lost and they have an out and they still stick to their guns. Because yeah. say what you want about him. In a world where people will just say 
whatever opinion to get ahead in life, he yeah. genuinely believed that shit. Like he well, then, ruined his what, family at legacy. At what point do you get to? Do you think like okay, this person deserves my respect, and then at what point is it? Does it become? Uh, oh, this person's like mentally like insane. Yeah, I don't think he's mentally insane though. He just believes something vastly different than what I believe. That doesn't make him insane. That, no, that's, of course not. That's a no. huge mistake people make too. Is oh, someone disagrees with me, they must be they mentally must be ill. Mentally ill. It's like we ever yeah, thought that yeah, maybe yeah. they just like value different things and have a different lived experience. Right. You know, one hundred percent. Also, uh, at Easter when we were talking, yeah. my family was all talking about like uh, shit that was like going on conspiracy shit. They were talking about that that fucking boat that hit the bridge. Yeah. And they were and they were all thinking that it was like terrorism. Right, they thought they thought a terrorist did that shit, and I was like, "That's fucking crazy." And then they said, uh, "No, um, this is actually the third time this has happened in three months." And I didn't have any confirmation of that, but once they said that, I was like, "Okay, no, it's terrorism." <laughs> no, because also, like, if you're a terrorist, mm -hmm. you know, when you do the terrorism, your life's over. Whether you die in it or whether you get captured, like, you're done. Yeah. You get one shot at terrorism. Yeah, yeah, dude. And you're gonna waste it. On Baltimore? On, on Maryland? That's, that's <laughs> on a the bridge point. in Maryland? Yeah, I'm going to show Baltimore the place, the wire At nighttime happens. when there's the least amount of cars on the bridge? I, that's what I was trying to like, tell them. Like, like, They're like, no, it's terrorism. These terrorists are getting their water boat licenses and they're crashing boats in the well, bridges. Well, also, Baltimore already looks like <laughs> 17 9-11s happened to it already. <laughs> so I don't know if that's the place that you need to go commit terrorism. Like, they're doing... No, fucking do New York again. What do you, what's yeah. your problem, dude? Dude, I uh, but no, I actually have inside <laughs> information on this because I have a friend who's what? <laughs> I have a friend who's a captain. Okay, who, hell yeah. Who moved like genuinely is like a captain of those cargo vessels, okay, those okay, big okay. boats. Oh, that's sick. And so I asked him like, what happened here? Because I was like, it seems like a pretty big fuck up mm -hmm. to hit the. You know, it's very clear you're not supposed to be in that waterway with that size right. of boat, and they would know this. And he said, yeah. well, what happened? This was his take from insider information, is that they had had um some sort of because the boat was cheap. It was a Taiwanese boat, and so they were doing things on the cheap and, like, not going by regulation to, like, skirt a bunch of, like, ways to save money. Okay. So the boat was not well-maintained, and the crew was not well-trained. And because of that, somehow there was an electrical issue where their navigation equipment went offline. Okay. And they basically lost power in the whole boat, so they couldn't steer, really. So the boat drifted, like, for instance, when it was supposed to go left, it went right because they couldn't steer, so the current oh, took it shit. down the wrong waterway. Yeah. And then it's a boat with no engine, so you can't, like, stop it. There's no brakes on a boat. Mm -hmm. So then it, like, lazily just floated towards the bridge as they kept panicking, like, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? And then it okay. hit the bridge. But how does how does a boat take down a fucking bridge like that? Dude, those boats are crazy. So, but shouldn't the bridges be crazier though? We well, they're not supposed to get hit. How many hit. fucking cars are they're on not, that bridge all the They're not meant to get hit by a boat that size. That's crazy. Like that is millions of pounds of steel, even if it's going like twenty miles an hour, which it probably was. Like that's a crazy amount the of momentum. The bridge should be strong enough to stop the boat. We got to get you in civil engineering, dude. Yeah, they do. I'll, 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 You'll I'll do You'll redesign the boat? Reading. Yeah, of course. You come in with a presentation that's made yeah. of popsicle sticks. Listen, and listen. you're like, here's how the boat should This is the bridge. <laughs> this is how the how strong the bridge should be. We have to make our boats so that if they hit the bridge, the boat disappears. Yeah. The, the boat vaporizes You just have a Lego boat going into a popsicle stick bridge, <laughs> and you're like, this is the, the high-tech simulation we've come up with to defend Baltimore's waterways. Yeah, dude. So it was that. It was... um. It was the whole eclipse thing. It was uh, the boats and the bridges. That's what we were talking about on Easter. And then we got to the whole P. Diddy thing. My uncles love talking about P. Diddy because they grew up on P. Diddy and shit like that. And then they, they were got they into... Were they defending him? They weren't defending him. Okay. They were like, oh my God, you hear what happened? This is crazy. And then that transitioned into this conversation about uh, how Jay-Z runs a pedophile ring. Uh, and all these fucking... Like, he's been sex trafficking all these kids. Damn, and dude. how he's worse than Epstein. <laughs> like, like, it's fucking crazy. At this point, I don't even know. You know? Because it's like... <laughs> yeah, dude, I, didn't think P, I didn't think P. Diddy was like, like that. I thought he was a chill guy that just liked to sell Apple Ciroc. And then all of a sudden... <laughs> You know, the police are raiding his home, and he's, like, trying to flee the country. And I'm like, damn, who else is a secret pedophile? Yeah, dude. You never know. I honestly don't see the appeal in it. If I That's ever good. Go, That's good to hear, Matt. I'm glad. <laughs> I don't I'm, get I'm, it. I'm glad you're like, like. I'm trying to think about it from their perspective, and I don't get it. I don't find kids attractive. I don't it's understand. It's not for me, dog. Uh, yeah, me. I don't know what it is. And who knows? Maybe if one day we have so much power that we're in charge of so many things, maybe, like, one day we have so much sex with women, which, like, 
Can't wait, right? Can't wait. That's going to be great. Like, how much sex are these guys having with women that they're like, you know what? Nah. Kids. What, what I've... What I've think happens, yeah. you know, because that's one argument that you just have all the crazy sex with women and men because you can because you're super rich and then you get bored and, like, you're evil and no one tells you no, so yeah. you go to kids. That's one argument. I think the argument is that they were <laughs> pedophiles to begin with. Okay. And they're like, damn, man, I'm not going to be able to, like, molest kids if I work at McDonald's. Right. Like, right, I'm not right, going to be able to do that. So I have to get so rich and powerful that I can yeah. get away with molesting kids. So it's like their I'm version. I'm the world's best rapper. Yeah, it's like it's like their version. <laughs> well, well, other guys are like, I'm trying to get out of the hood and buy my mom a house. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to have a Ferris wheel in my apartment so I can fuck <laughs> yeah, kids. Dude, if this is the only way, like, if this album doesn't go platinum, I though. can never fuck kids. Dude, like, it's a crazy motivator. They put it all in and they're like, uh uh-huh. <laughs> Dude, yeah. they go so hard in the, uh, because in the back of their mind, they're like, I'm, I'm going to get me That was kid. Dan Schneider, like, rewriting those scripts every <laughs> dude, night. Dude, yeah. Because he's dude. like, if this doesn't get picked up by Nickelodeon, I'm never going to be able to touch kids' feet. <laughs> like, this has to work. This has to 100%. work. 100%. That's <laughs> so crazy. Because <laughs> if your motivation is just, I'd like, to, that's why we're not famous yet. Right. Because we just want to be, you know, good at our craft. If we, we don't have that kids, extra motivation. We'd have been famous years ago. Years, we'd have that extra motivation. <laughs> Which, you know, I should have that level of motivation because really the only way I'm ever going to have sex with a woman is if I get famous. So I should have the same level, but there's still the illusion I could, you know, meet a nice one. But it sucks that, like, the our desire to to have sex with hot women isn't enough to fuel us to to that success. Yeah. You know? But motherfuckers who want to fuck kids, they're they're fucking fueled. Yeah, that seems to get people going, dude. They have diesel gas in their fucking engines, and they're going crazy. Do you think think with... With pedophiles that like, because you know how like if, if for instance, like we'll see a, a chick that's maybe not to be rude, but not the most attractive, and it's like oh, of course. even you know in a state of desperation, we still might be like I'm gonna. A couple pass. of them exist, yeah. I'm gonna pass. Do you think there's that? Because there doesn't seem to be the equivalent of that in the pedophile world. They just they're just touching everybody. Do you think there's like a fat chick of of, of pedophile world? Yeah, yeah, dude, fat kids. I think fat kids are like hotter than skinny kids. Well, no, that's true. Because you know what? Because you know Drake. <laughs> What? Drake Drake got Drake got molested and he was the hot one and he no won. one no one molested Josh he was the fat Josh one. Josh didn't even know it was happening. He got out. No one no <laughs> Josh, one even bothered him. Josh didn't even know it was happening. <laughs> they were just like, "Here's a sandwich. Shut the fuck up. I gotta talk to Drake alone real quick." <laughs> Did you see, we had a comment the other day that said, "Uh, sending love from the UK." No, I didn't see that. Yeah, go look at it. We have a we have a UK listener. There was a comment that said, "I'm worried about Matt. Matt's weight." Mm. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of You Should Be Worried. My name is Matt Lopes. You can find me everywhere at Matty Fucko. Um, follow this the um, the podcast on social media at You Should Be Worried Pod on Instagram, Be Worried Pod on Twitter and TikTok. Also, like, comment, subscribe on the YouTube. If you like what we do, please uh, support it. And also, you can find um, Chris Warren at Chris Warren Comedy uh, on all social media platforms. Um, you can check out his dates. DM him for. Uh, nice messages if you just want to talk about any historical stuff or, or just nice religion stuff in general, whatever. Yeah, actually, whatever if you, you have a, a suggestion for what my next history video should be, um, DM it to me. I'm always looking for new history stuff to learn about. Hell yeah. And then you're also, there's also, uh, follow our producer ba- at Benny Boy underscore 28 on Instagram. Follow in the making. A bunch of good sketches going out there. Uh, you can find that on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube uh, in the making ITM. Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you. We'll see you next week. And happy April Fool's Week. And hope you had a good Easter if you celebrate. Love you guys.